Okay, uh, for our next uh, discussion in game theory, we're actually going to mix it with, with the profit equation. So just to review the profit equation really quick, you know, profit is just sales minus uh, uh, costs. You know, accounting it's net revenue minus expenses. In operations, we just call it sales minus costs. And sales is just the selling price times the quantity sold. Um, costs, we have two costs. We have fixed and variable. Fixed is, is what it is. That's, you know, your rent and, and such, or your costs, your fixed costs that aren't going to change, such as rent or the CEO's salary. Your per unit variable cost, uh, your per unit cost is like how much labor it takes you to build one unit of direct labor, or how much material you put into that one unit. And that's a per unit charge times the quantity sold. So we can rewrite the profit equation of selling price times quantity minus the sum of our fixed costs and our variable costs. Just to illustrate the example here, we have a company that sells 100 units at $10 each with a fixed cost of $600 and a variable cost of $3 per unit. So we want to know the profit. So simply our profit equals, we're going to have $10 each times 100 units. So this represents our sales. From that, we're going to subtract our fixed cost of $600 minus um, our variable cost of $3 times the 100 units. So this is our cost. All right? So we have 1,000 minus 900. So our company has a profit of $100. What we're going to do is going to take the profit equation and apply it to a market. What we're saying here, and you have this, this form, um, I want you to form, fill out the form for the four situations. And the four situations are going to uh, uh, vary depending upon the selling price. You know, if you sell high, it's $4. If you sell low, it's $3. All right, so I'm just going to go through the first one here. What I wanted you to do is have the uh, sell high for the first one. And if everybody sells high, each company is going to uh, uh, have a quantity of 30 units. So with their sales are just their high selling price times the 30. So they're going to have sales of 120. I've given you the fixed is $55 and <clears throat> the variable is $1 per unit. We have a quantity of 30, $1, we have a variable of 30. If we add these two together, we know we have $85 and our profit is our sales minus our fix or the 120 minus 85. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hopefully everybody came up with $35. Now I just want you to do two things. I want you to go through the other scenarios, which, you know, next changes is one company sells low, so the quantity varies. Then two companies sell low, the quantity varies. And then what happens if all three companies sell low? What I'm looking for you to do is form in your mind is, you know, what price Um, should your company sell at to maximize your profit? So your company goal is to maximize your profit. Your job is to determine what price to sell. 